Okay, let me show you how to make your iPhone faster. Yes, in iOS 17, Apple has added some great new features that will greatly improve your user experience while also making your iPhone faster. Yes, Apple has actually made certain settings a lot faster to use on your device. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, before we begin, I know you guys always ask about my wallpapers. If you're interested, I'll link these in the description down below. These are iPhone 15 concept wallpapers. A total of eight are available and this come courtesy of my buddy over on Instagram, Apple Design. So if you want to check them out, great guy. Links will be in the description. They're absolutely free, but of course, always donations are welcome. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So this first feature will help you unlock your iPhone a lot faster. Now, typically to unlock your iPhone, you have to wake it up in order to unlock it. So you wake it up, you swipe, and then you unlock with Face ID or the passcode. Where there's a better and faster way to do this, if you go into settings here, we scroll into the accessibility options, we go into touch, we have this option, tap or swipe to wake. So if we enable this, we go to the lock screen. Now we don't have to wake up our devices. We swipe up and we can unlock our devices just like so. Again, we don't have to wake up the device, just simply tap or swipe up and we can unlock our devices a lot faster in iOS 17 with this new option, tap or swipe to wake. Now this next feature will help you use Apple's virtual assistant a lot quicker. And I'm going to try a voice saying her name so I don't trigger your devices. But if we go into settings here and we go into Siri and search, we have the option listen for. Now we have a third option available which allows you to just say her name without the trigger word hey in order to invoke the virtual assistant. Now we've seen companies like Amazon do this for years, right? You don't need the word hey in front of Alexa in order to invoke Alexa, right? So now if you even talk about Siri, oftentimes it doesn't trigger, but you have to be direct. Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's about 82 degrees outside. How about in New York City? It's currently 72 degrees in New York, New York. So Siri is more conversational. If you enable this feature, you'll be able to invoke her without having to say the trigger word, which is hey in front of the name, and you can continue the conversation, which in my opinion, is a lot more useful and faster to use it this way. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make haptic touch or long pressing on things on your iPhone a lot quicker. So if you long press on menus or maybe a conversation thread or anything like that, and you wanna make that a lot quicker, you can actually do that within iOS 17. So we go into settings here, we go under accessibilities, we go under touch, and then we have the haptic touch. That's what it's called, of course. We have three options. We have slow, then we also have the default, which is the medium option. By the way, in iOS 16, we only had two options. And iOS 17, we now have the fast option, which is, of course, a lot faster to use long press or haptic touch on your device. Again, through menus and things like that, it will be a lot quicker to use it this way and it improves the user experience in my opinion. Next, I wanna show you how to make AirPlay more efficient and faster on your iPhone running iOS 17. Now, you wanna go into settings here. You wanna go under general and AirPlay and handoff. Apple has added a brand new option here called automatically AirPlay. Now, this gives you the option to select never, ask or automatic. Now, if you select automatic, basically your iPhone will learn your behavior. So let's say you always go to your office and you start playing music and you always send that music to the HomePod in your office. Well, the iPhone will learn that and every time you get to your office and play music, it will automatically connect to the HomePod in your office. Same thing applies for when you're in your home, if you're in your living room and you typically send the music to the HomePods in your living room, you don't have to go through the list to find those HomePods and connect. It will automatically recognize recognize using on-device machine learning, it will automatically connect to those devices that you typically connect to when you're in a certain place or near any AirPlay compatible device. So yeah, automatic AirPlay is a new feature that makes AirPlay a lot faster and more efficient. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you how to automatically delete verification codes. And this is probably one of my favorite features. So if you use two-factor authentication to log into a website or something like that, you get a message with a code in order to log in. This message right here. Well, now you have the option to automatically delete those messages from the messages app without having to do anything. So if we go into settings here and we go into the password options, once we get in, we go into password options and right here you find the cleanup automatic. So this basically removes those text messages from the messages application on your iPhone without you having to do a thing. This is probably one of my favorite new features as we use two-factor authentication a lot these days. This will automatically delete those messages 
from the Messages app on your iPhone, saving you time and space on your device. You don't have to go back and take a look at that or anything like that. Once you use it, it is automatically deleted from your device and you don't even have to think about it. It improves the user experience, of course. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video will help you out on how to make your iPhone slightly faster using these new features in iOS 17. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.